Hey guys, in this short video, I want to talk to you about the hair growth effects of agaricus mushroom. In Chinese medicine and herbalism in general, there are select few herbs that are famously used for their abilities to promote hair growth and correct hair loss. And in previous videos, we've talked about these herbs, mostly being Hoshiwu, Nettle, and Gota Cola, amongst a few select others. But in this particular video, I want to expand the whole picture and subject of hair growth and hair loss and talk to you about one of the primary mechanisms behind agaricus mushroom's ability to actually promote hair growth. Now, what I think is really interesting about this video is that most medicinal mushrooms like agaricus mushroom aren't really recognized for their abilities to correct hair loss and promote hair growth, which is probably the byproduct of the reductionist viewpoint that people have when it comes to hair loss or hair growth. They sort of separate it like dental health from the rest of your health. When the fact of the matter is hair loss, like most other issues, have their roots in metabolic stress, oxidative stress, and inflammation. And agaricus mushroom just so happens to contain a very powerful antioxidant flavonoid that actually has been clinically proven to correct many of the underlying issues in hair loss and actually induce hair growth. So that particular flavonoid that I'm referring to is the compound known as apigenin, which I talk about pretty frequently here in these videos. Now apigenin in of itself has hundreds of different clinically proven health benefits. Everything from anti-cancer benefits, the ability to promote healthier skin, act as an antioxidant, an anti-inflammatory, an anti-tumor, etc. And there's one really unique and special benefit of apigenin that I want to share with you today, which is not only the ability to induce hair growth, but through its anti-inflammatory effects, it has a profound ability to turn off the so-called master switch for scalp fibrosis. And fibrosis of the scalp is one of the majorly overlooked factors in male pattern baldness that leads to the development of that slick, bald scalp. Now, as I mentioned a second ago, there is a so-called master switch for fibrosis. In general, fibrosis is the byproduct of chronic inflammation. So again, fibrosis is the scarring of the connective tissue, which tends to occur after a certain tissue has become injured. And keep in mind that inflammation causes injury, and fibrosis is the healing response from chronically induced inflammation to the scalp. Now, the real question is, what's causing the inflammation to the scalp that's leading to the fibrosis. And at least according to clinical research, there is at least one major key player, a gene referred to as transforming growth factor beta one, which has been literally referred to as the master switch or on switch for fibrosis. Now, according to my understanding in physiology, one of the major reasons that the transforming growth factor beta one becomes chronically produced, why there's chronic inflammation, is usually due to conditions like hypoxia, which is the oxygen deprivation of the cell, which is just one of the many symptoms of hypothyroidism. So when the thyroid's not working efficiently, proper energy metabolism uh, becomes impaired. That leads to oxidative stress. Oxidative stress leads to inflammation. And inflammation is really uh, accompanied by a large variety of pro-inflammatory cytokines and other pro-inflammatory genes like the transforming growth factor beta one. So what's really causing it is probably hypothyroidism, some sort of underlying metabolic stress that's causing the chronic inflammation, which is leading to the fibrosis of the scalp. So in addition to, of course, correcting the underlying causative agents like the hypothyroidism, one of the other causative agents in fibrosis we want to correct and abolish is the transforming growth factor beta one. And according to a cell-based study on hair growth promoting agents, specifically on apigenin, it was found that apigenin, which is known to have an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory and anti-tumor property, also stimulates hair growth through the downregulation of transforming growth factor beta-1 gene. So in other words, apigenin, the major flavonoid in agaricus mushroom, actually helps you promote hair growth by downregulating that anti-hair growth gene, transforming growth factor beta-1. So this is gonna be really beneficial for anybody with any sort of uh, hair loss, but also particularly beneficial for anybody with fibrosis of the scalp. So anybody that might notice a more slick bald patches, or if you're noticing that your hair has just become thinner, and no matter what you do dietary-wise, no matter what you're doing to correct uh, the underlying stress in your body, one of the major reasons you might not be regrowing your hair at least is because the scalp tissue has become fibrotic. And apigenin is one of the few compounds that not only helps you inhibit fibrosis, but can potentially even reverse it and restore the natural functioning to the otherwise fibrotic tissue. So for anybody looking to improve the health of their hair or struggling with any sort of hair loss, in addition to all of the other causative factors we have talked about in 
previous videos, one major causative agent for hair loss is the fibrosis of the scalp and the supplementation of agarcus mushroom or apigenin in general can be a really helpful therapeutic agent for correcting this. However, that does bring this video to a close. So if you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for future videos. And if you're interested in learning more about agarcus mushroom or possibly supplementing with it, you can find that on our online tonic herb shop in the description box below.